Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. He has been lying to you. I have your fiance with me. Your fiance. Oh, like you didn't know. David. You don't even care? What are you talking about, man? You're crazy. Are you? Get a car. Uh, excuse me? Wait. A seven week old excuse baby? Me? From Cheater's surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh. I asked her about his, and she said nothing's going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Take me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get right. up, get up. Get up. Get up. Go, go. This is, like, not how this is supposed Whatever, to work. Whatever, just go. Dog. Go with him. I love you. I'm so sorry. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on Cheaters. Welcome, I'm Joey Greco. Thank you for watching this installment of Cheaters. I'd like you to meet Carolyn Pretzel, a nightclub entertainer worried her fiance Dana may be abandoning his family. Bewildered by Dana's behavior, Carolyn enlists cheaters to peek into his hidden life. Carolyn Pretzel, age 21. A nightclub entertainer who fears her fiance may be gambling with their young family's future. I met Dana when I was dancing at another club. I was drunk all the time, I was a partier, and he seemed to be the partier too. He asked me to come home with him one night, just smoke some herb, and that's when I got to know him. And ever since then, Dana and I have been together. After I had the baby six weeks ago, I've lost a lot of weight since then, but I'm not the size I was. So I still feel real uncomfortable. Our sex life is coming a little bit back, but it's still not as active. Yeah, my suspicions about him cheating is pretty much a gut feeling. Um, I mean, he just has the biggest opportunity. I mean, he's sometimes just not there. He goes, he says he's going to Streetport to gamble with his buddies, but yet sometimes his friends call the house looking for him. I haven't found him with any phone numbers, but he's a very smart, sneaky guy. I mean, he's not that dumb to get caught. He, he would do his best to hide it, and I would never, never know. I need to have proof if he's cheating. There's no way that I can do it by myself. I need to have proof, and I need someone to catch him in it, in the act. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Dana Christopher, age 24. A bartender and part-time gambler suspected of dealing his hand from the bottom of the deck. Investigation day four. At first, Cheater's detectives come up empty, but on this day, with investigators lurking in the shadows, suspect Christopher shows his lack of guile when an unknown female parks outside Carolyn and Dana's apartment and saunters up to the door. The suspect readily shuffles the female into the apartment, where the two waste no time in getting down to business. Through a partially obscured window, the two are seen giggling and fondling each other on Carolyn's couch, while the newborn infant son plays second fiddle to daddy's other baby. The female gently strokes suspect Christopher's tummy, and he happily reciprocates by running his fingers through her hair. After several luscious hours of playtime, Dana walks his unknown companion back to her car for a long goodbye kiss, no doubt anticipating mommy's pending return. 
Looking somewhat dejected by her sudden exit, the suspect retreats back to his apartment just before Pretzel's imminent arrival. Investigation day eight. With his son inside and unattended, Mr. Christopher carelessly scampers out to his car and Cheater's PIs can't help but speculate that his heart longs for another woman. The suspect peels off into the night and speeds over toward an unknown destination. After spending just a few minutes behind closed doors, however, the suspect reemerges with his female companion, who has now been identified as Ruth Turner. As he gets into his vehicle, the two share a quick smooch before heading off together. Perhaps feeling a twinge of guilt for leaving his son back at the apartment, they drive back over to Carolyn's gated community and slither inside. Cheaters' watchdogs are unable to see inside, but can only assume that their intentions are naughty by nature. Finally, an hour before Carolyn is due back home, the two relaxed lovers come back out of the apartment and head over to his car, wrapped up in one another. The evidence of betrayal is absolute, and Cheaters owes it to Carolyn to show her the truth about the man she intends to marry. After the break, the confrontation. With solid evidence of Dana doing more than just gambling in his spare time, Cheaters calls Carolyn back to confirm her suspicions and to confront her fickle fiance. This seems crazy that we've driven all this way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where does your fiance think you are? Work. Gonna... And he told you what earlier? He was going to be meet me at the house. Later tonight, yeah. when you get off. Before I got home, he would be there. I see. Thanks for this long drive out here and hanging in there. I know it was tough. Well, thank you. Our job was to gather information for you, to find out if the man that you're engaged to is treating you right. The information I'm going to show you is is definitely inappropriate behavior for a fiance. On this day of investigation, we've got this individual going into your residence while you were at work. Yeah. We shot through the window on the couch with your fiance. He's laying down, his feet are up in her lap. Then she lays down with him on the couch about two, three hours in there. Then he walked her out to her car, kissed her goodbye. And going back into our apartment. And then going back into your apartment. Here they are on this day of investigation. He picks her up from her house, brings her back to your apartment. He has been lying to you. He has been deceiving you. But obviously that is, that is inappropriate behavior. Talk to me, Gomez. Okay, they're coming out the door now. He's with her. All right. Dana. Excuse me, Dana. Could we have a talk with you? My name's Tommy from the television show Cheaters. I have your fiance with me. Your fiance. Oh, like you didn't know. My pictures are up all oh, over yeah. the house. Oh, my sending products are in the, the whole bathroom. Dana, are you not engaged? I you told y'all even... going to work. But I knew that you were Girlfriend. cheating. Now you told fiance? your fiance, the mother of your child, you're coming up here to gamble with your buddies. Yeah, where's it DJ? It looks like your buddy. I do. Who's I that? Know. I have surveillance footage of you three, yeah. da three days of you with this woman like, while you're lying to your fiance. Did we you have fiance we have a seven week old boy a seven week old baby Yeah, Cameron, give me that camera. Y'all can't be filming up here after me. 
I, well, we're about done. We're, we're just well, touching I the can't, Give me that camera, back. man. He's been messing around on his girlfriend, on his fiance. Hey, give me that camera. You don't got on this camera. Dana, we, we got, 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 got to be at home. home. We got on. I had to show her you know, got, with this. Up, camera, woman. You bringing this other woman to her house, to your house. That's my house. Dana, we have a little boy. A seven week old you don't boy. Care. Dana. You don't even care? What are you talking about, man? You're crazy. Aren't you, are you guys so you're denying? Sorry? Carolyn, are you all right? Yes, Carolyn, I'm fine. Carolyn, come on, dude. Him? She don't need to do Oh, obviously she does. She's obviously, not fine. you don't know what's going on. So I had to watch up. this girl cry as she had to watch, if she watched you with another woman. She didn't have to do Then why are you with another woman? I ain't with Shut up. She had to come with, to us because she needed help. Right. She felt you were lying right. to her, deceiving her. Hey, turn that camera off. Not even Dana. talking to her anymore. You want to explain all that? No, dude, I'll, I'll talk to her in private. Dana, I will talk to you. I will go home with you. Please say you're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. About what? I mean, I didn't do that. Come on. Dana. You're awfully casual about it, Dana. Yeah. Where, where's Dylan at? Dylan's with right the babysitters, right? I told you. Carolyn, you want to go with him? Yes. If he says him. he's... Well, I'm not going to do this in front of all these people. Just what is this camera in the car? Thank you. Have a good night. That's it. Coming up, the conclusion. you want to do, okay? Yeah. Can you drive all right? I know yeah. you've been drinking. Yes, sir. It's no problem. We can have somebody take you guys back We're if fine. you need. Thank you. No pictures. Turn them out. Uniform. Talk to me for a minute and tell me what, what your thoughts are. What do you think my thoughts are? I want to know, was he just lying to you too? Well, he had totally informed me that him and his girlfriend had broke up. Totally informed me. I mean, we're through, we're through. Okay, that's fine. Let me walk you no, here. Really, I, no, I rode with him. Oh, you rode with I him? I rode with him, so I would rather... All right. It, I'll, I'll just go call a cab. No, we'll get you back. Okay. We'll get you back. I mean, I thought this was like some kind of sneak... TV or something. I didn't really expect it to be like cheaters. Well, she she's he's a good liar. He's a great liar. I mean, he is a good con. I mean, oh my God. That's, that's, them. that's them. Heads up. I'm not getting out. What do y'all want? How long has that been? Honestly, Honestly we've been lying. seeing each other for a couple weeks, and I really sympathize with you. I really do. I, I think he has to apologize to both of us, but he's... Yeah, yeah. He, he a car uh, Excuse me? Wait, a seven-week-old baby? Excuse me? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just... Our whole family over this. I've had to talk to you, and... But I'm, others, doing, I'm doing it because Dylan deserves it, really. Somebody have a umbrella for her. I'm sorry. Is it because I'm bigger? She wants I'm to have more of your too. children. All right. So we just want to go ahead and talk about this. You guys can just... Look, if someone won't take me... Ruth. up, Mom, don't, don't even waste your breath. Go. Okay, so I appreciate you guys helping her out. Thank you. You're okay with that?
what's going on, dude. What's up, babe? Remember the guy I've been seeing for a while? Yeah, he's got a feeling for me. Not only that, he brought me on shavers. I'm pissed. Now that Carolyn's frustrations with her fiance have been vented, the wayward couple takes time to delve into the roots of their lack of communication. At the end of the show, Cheaters reports the status of their relationship. But presently, Cheaters reflects with Ronald Matz on his misdeeds of the past. Ronald Matz, age 27. Ronald expresses to cheaters his true feelings on the outcome of his confrontation. When they first bust me, I mean, it was like, wow. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. Me, I'm busted on cheaters. And it hurt me to know that I had to confess to my children of what I was actually doing and not being there for them at all times. You give me a word now? Go. Go. Go ahead. Go. All right. Here they go. Come on. Come on through. Come on through. Get on the other side. Get on the other side. There you go. They're stopping right there. Ronald. Ron. Whoa. Ronald. You know what's going on? Come on, Phyllis. I'm just out of here. No, that's your. Come on, man. Come on, man. What do you mean? Yep. Yo. What? Um, I was really hurt, you know, to see my baby mom upset in the way she were. And I was really hurt to see that I had hurt another human being and, and, and my friend, most of all, through all the process. I've hurt two people because of my foolish mistakes. Do you know that this is his girlfriend? No, I don't know. What? We got no. Oh, babe, no, babe, what? No, no, baby, what? No, what? No, baby, what? No, no, baby, what? Nothing. No, no, nothing. Wait a minute. Hey, no, come no. on, Nick. See, you ain't going to go. Whoa, Come on. Alright. No, 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 no. Turn the camera off. This is enough. If I was actually put in this situation again, I probably would handle it a little bit better than the way I did handle it. And all by, you know, pulling out the stun gun. And then I wasn't physically trying to hurt anybody. It was just the fact I wanted everyone to get away from me because I was so shocked into what was going on. And I was really trying to get out of there so I can get my mind back right and get it focused on back what was going on. Ronald, Ronald, get hang on, hang on. Let me talk to him for a second. Ronald, look, hang on, hang on. Ronald, put that down. Put that down and grow up. Away from me. I don't want y'all around me. Listen. Get up out my Hey, hey, Ronald, look. Back up, back up. Look. No. Get away from me. Ronald. Look, relax. Ronald? If it wouldn't have been for cheaters, I probably would have kept on lying, and it probably would have came to something else other than what it was. I probably may even got Kim pregnant or anything could have happened, and then I, I would have to explain that situation to my baby's mother and all. So if it wasn't for cheaters, I would probably wouldn't have been still doing what I was doing, and I'm glad that cheaters did have something to do with me straightening my life up. Deeply disillusioned by Dana Christopher's lack of constraint, Carolyn Pretzel still gathered the strength to once again pardon her wandering fiance. Though Mr. Christopher reported that his original intentions for reconciliation were genuine, the dark allure of women and gambling again compelled him to return to his evil ways. After his recidivism became apparent, Ms. Pretzel stated that she could no longer condone his behavior and finally forced him out of her life. The estranged couple has amicably made arrangements to ensure that their child receives the proper care. Apparently not camera shy, companion Ruth Turner relayed through her lawyer that she had inside information pertaining to the case and would reveal it to Cheaters producers if presented with the proper financial consideration.